If you are an adventurous person, appreciate winter activities and love dogs, try dog sledding in the Arctic Circle. Here is my experience and some tips to make your dog sledding experience the best. The tour bus picked us up from the hotel and brought to the Beer Hill Husky Tours Kennel site. At 8 o'clock in the morning it was still pitch dark as we were approaching a winter solstice the shortest day of the year. As soon as we arrived, we walked into the cottage and got dressed. Winter temperatures in the Arctic Circle can be unpredictable, but on average it is from 0 to minus 35 Celsius. If it is below minus 35, tour will be cancelled. If you want to see a complete dressing guide, easy and cheap, please watch this video. After that, we went through the safety rules and instructions. There are a few companies offering dog sledding and we choose Beer Hill Husky Tours because they have their own dog kennels and use their own dogs in the most respectful and sustainable manner. Also, they have a variety of different types of tours to choose from. We choose a Northern Exposure for small groups adults only tour. It is a three-hour program with one and a half hour husky sled drive. Now it is our time to start dog sledding. Do you see how excited they are? It is a good sign. It means that they are in a good physical shape, full of energy and cannot wait to start running. There are options you can choose from. Two adults per sled, one musher plus one passenger, or one adult per sled, a musher only. This is the option we choose, because we both love to have our own dog teams. Now our tour guide is matching the dogs into the running teams. There is a lot to consider, such as if it is an alpha dog who wants to lead, or a female dog who is in heat, or a young, immature dog who is eager to run hard but will get tired very quickly, or an experienced dog who knows how to spread his energy evenly for a long run. As you can see, we are all matched up and ready to go. But my husband was having a big bonding moment with one of his dogs. We had to start, but the dog didn't want to let him go. Finally, we were all set and ready. During the run, we must keep both hands on the sled, so taking pictures is not allowed. The reason is that if you lose your grip and fall, the dogs will run without you until they are exhausted or until somebody stops them. This is why during the whole ride we were accompanied by a snowmobile. Now we stopped at the middle of the frozen lake and our tour guide took some pictures. Even though it was a small group, many of us had different physical abilities and levels of dog sledding experience. So we constantly had to stop and go, wait for everybody to catch up, and stay all lined up in one group. So my advice is that if you are an adventurous and experienced person, book a private tour instead, so you don't have to wait for everybody and can enjoy a truly fast, fun and exuberating dog sledding experience. Now we were done with the drive, but still had to press the brake until the dogs were tied up.
Now we are back and have some time to bond with our dogs and take some pictures. The dogs look satisfied about the ride, but are excited about their well-deserved treats. It is a raw sausage from the local slaughterhouse. Sausage. Made out of reindeer leftovers. It's their special treat of the day. Now we were invited into the hut and treated to a special herbal tea and traditional cookies. It was our time to relax, ask questions and learn more about huskies and their lives being working dogs in the Arctic Circle. I hope you enjoyed our dog sledding experience today. Please like and subscribe so we can stay in touch and travel and explore together in my next video.